Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to one of the prettiest places in England. So if you want to see more about Cotswold, just keep on watching. We just got here if you're planning to come here and you're thinking about renting a camper van you can see or you could you could find some free parking spaces here we're currently here at Porford mm. and we saw some free car park yeah well, it's more we found a road that doesn't have double yellow lines down it so you can park here make sure that that you're not gonna go on weekends because it's gonna be a lit uh, a bit crowded. Yeah, and as uh, I so said, there's a lot of there's a lot of yellow lines around here, and also the people don't seem to know how to park properly, so there's even less room. Okay, we'll show you around. Most of the shops here at Warford are closed at the moment. I think we arrived early. Yeah, also the fact that I think a lot of them have shut down and that because of lockdown. But I think, yeah, a lot of them are never reopening. Yeah, so we're going to stow on the wall now to have some tea. Yeah. We're going to the tea rooms. a free parking for two hours and then if we if we couldn't go I mean if we couldn't leave for two hours what's gonna happen then um, uh, you get a hundred pound fine yes you're gonna get a ticket so you're allowed to stay here for two hours and it's more time for two hours yes we're gonna get we're gonna have some breakfast We're gonna have some breakfast here at Lucy's Tea Room. It's quite famous apparently. Yes. So famous that I'd never heard of it until you came to the UK. <laughs> <laughs> because Dan uh, haven't he haven't been here before. 
and I've been asking him to go to Cotswold for a long time now. Yeah, and specifically you want to get the Lucy's tea room. Yes, this is the Lucy's tea room. Yes, we're going to have some breakfast. Doing your tea should be like this. Like, like this. News to me. News to me. Yeah. Whenever they drink coffee or tea at home, it's always like this. Yeah. Well, you have not had a spoon out so you don't stab yourself. But because I'm here. Let's see how Dan's gonna steer this thing. <laughs> Hi to the Lord of the Ring fans. This is the famous Tolkien, Tolkien, Tolkien door. Although I thought, I think there's a photo shoot, so we, we're gonna come back later. So a lot of the, so a lot of tour, tourists just go to the Tolkien door just to take a photo, yeah. just like the bride there. Yeah, uh, yeah those, those are We're here at St. Mary's Church in Lower Slaughter. We're going to Lower Slaughter and Upper Slaughter. I don't know why they name it like that. I don't know, they, did, they did a lot of sheep farming, so maybe it's where they used to kill the sheep. Who knows? I think it was. I think it was built during 12th century. Yeah, probably, but yeah, it might have been might have been renovated afterwards. Yeah. So. so uh, Glass. These are the headstones.
know the history about the mill there? Uh, not this particular mill, but the big wooden wheels there. Before the uh, discovery of steam power, that's how they used to uh, power the machine, how to run the machinery in the factories. So before the discovery of, before the industrial revolution, factories were very small and powered by um, powered by water. Obviously, then the discovery of steam power, industrial revolution came along. You could build factories anywhere. What can you say about Cotswold so far? Yeah, it's very nice. It's like you know, a bit of a throwback to a bygone era. Uh, it's obviously a successful, yeah, amazing, uh, amazing building. So just to show, you know, show what uh, British countryside used to look like. Did you like my recommendation? Yeah, definitely. You know, yeah, he came all the way from the Philippines just to try, the, just to try cream tea at Lucy Tea House. <laughs> That's dedication for you. These are the houses in Lower Slaughter. Yeah, they look very nice. Yes. Very nice and looks very expensive too. Yeah, they are, they are very expensive. got here at Bibri or Bibri. I don't know how to pronounce it. We just had some lunch and this is our first stop. It's Mary the Virgin Church. It's like another big feature like the Cotswolds and also the Lake District and quite a lot of other sort of rural areas is the dry stone wall. It's quite amazing actually. Like, there's, no, there's no cement or anything between the bricks and the stone. It's always been like standard for centuries just from the way they play them. So apparently the dry stone wall is actually quite well paved job because it takes a lot of skill. So that's what they used before? Yeah, you can see it for cement. I'd say some of these are still standing centuries after they're built and they just balance the rocks the right way. You, you see them everywhere. <laughs> 